Hello everyone. Today we will discuss on source list. So we have already started master data and we discussed on material master, business partner, supplier master with, and vendor master and info record. And today we will discuss on source list. Okay. So what are the advantages we have in source list? Why do we maintain the source list? What are the settings we may require in source list? We will discuss in details about it. Okay. Now, before starting source list, let's talk a bit about info record. So what we did in info record. In info record, basically we have maintained the combination of uh, a material and a supplier as a record. So we have maintained a record with the combination of material and vendor, right? For a particular material and for a particular vendor. But when we talk about source list, so in source list, we are maintaining the list of suppliers for a particular material. For example, suppose there is a laptop. And that laptop is supplied by 10 suppliers. So there is only one laptop, but there are 10 suppliers who are supplying you the material. So we will maintain the list of all those 10 suppliers against that particular material. And the advantage is we can maintain the validity period for that. That means which date to which date, which supplier can supply the material. So we have if we have 10 suppliers, out of 10 suppliers, we can fix one supplier and we can block multiple vendors where at the plant level. Okay, and the vendor can be assigned to the MRP generated purchase requisition. That means we have the functionality of MRP material requirement planning where we generate the PR. So we can maintain the vendor also in that case. So MRP is the functionality uh, which we will discuss in details. The next is we can copy from one plant to another plant. So, okay, so these are the functionality we have and that we can maintain in part of source list. Now, let's get into the system. The first setting, what we need to do is we have to get into the material master. Okay, so I'm just getting into the change mode of the material master. So you have, you can see for this material, now go to the select view, then select only the purchasing view. I'm just removing other views. So I've selected purchasing view, then click on organization, then enter the plan. And in purchasing view, if you'll go down here, you can see you have option of source list. So flag this source list here. So this is one setting which you need to do. Another setting is let's get into the SPRO part. Go to SPRO, then IMG, then you have. Then go to materials management. Or you can directly use the transaction code OLME. So after materials management, go to purchasing. And here you have this option, source list. So expand it. Now you can see define source list requirement at plant level so execute it and now here you can see that for the plant you have the list of source list so this is the plant and against this plant you have to just flag it but this functionality is not advisable we don't advise this functionality to the client because we are creating all the materials at the plant level so if we are maintaining this source list for this particular plant that means we need to maintain the source list for all the materials whatever we will create Okay, so that's the reason we don't advise to use this functionality. So don't do anything here. Now go back to your SAP Easy Access path and let's create a, a source list. And so we have a transaction code ME01. Either you can use that directly or you can follow this path. Logistics, materials management, then master data. Then here we have ME01. So either you click on here or enter the transaction code here and then enter the material. And once you'll enter the material and the plant, press enter. Here you can see this is the validity from date and to dates. From which date to which date, which supplier, which purchase organization, you can fix or you can block. So this functionality we have. So for this duration, if you want to block this supplier, then you have to flag this, okay? If you want to, suppose you want to add one more suppliers and that duration you want to change. For example, that supplier will supply you the material for this duration to some duration, maybe for example, three, four months or till November, uh, till September, okay? Now, what is that supplier? Select that supplier as well. So you have to maintain the supplier name. For example, this is the supplier, okay? And the purchase organization you can maintain here and you, now you want to block this supplier for this or sorry, you want to fix this supplier for this particular duration, but you can, you want to block this supplier 
for this duration. So this is what you can maintain. So now in the same way, if suppose 10 suppliers were supplying you the material, which material? This material, same material. So you can maintain all those suppliers here and you can maintain the validity date. Now at a time, you can fix one vendor and you can block multiple vendors based on the validity date. Okay. So this is the functionality we have in sources. Now let's save it. So once it is saved, now let me create an order. So when I'll create a purchase order, I'll use this material and this plant and the suppliers, whatever we have selected, you can check that now. Okay. So now let me click uh, create an order. So to create a purchase order, we have the transaction code ME21N. Go there, select the supplier, whatever suppliers you have selected there. So at a time we can supply, uh, like, you know, select only one supplier. So select a supplier, enter, then enter the purchase organization and the purchasing group and the company code, then enter the material, which material you want. And, and then, so we, I'm just creating a, a purchase order. And then I will show you where can we see the source list maintained against this particular material. Okay. Enter the quantity, then the price, whatever you want and the land. So this is what I have maintained. Okay. Now you can see here what it is showing. It's showing that source of supply is blocked according to the source list. So this is the supplier which I am using. This supplier is blocked now in source list. Okay. Now if you'll select this line item and if you'll click on this environment and if you click on source list here, you'll be able to see both the suppliers, right? Whatever we have maintained. But for this duration, we have blocked this supplier, right? So that is what the message we are getting. So system is throwing an error, error that for that particular duration, this supplier is blocked. Which supplier is active? 6710002. So this supplier is active. And 6230 ending with 00, it is blocked. So if I am using this supplier only, right? 000. That's the reason it is showing as blocked. So in this way, you can you know maintain your source list. So I have, which supplier is active? This supplier is active. So enter. Now see system is allowing you to create the view. So this is how you can maintain the source list for one particular material for multiple vendors. So you can block multiple vendors at a time and you can fix the vendors based on the validity period. So this is the functionality we have in source list. So if you have any issues, if you have any doubt, please comment. We will revert back on that. Thank you, everyone.